Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the latest episode of this Godric Manston My Manager Career. If you saw the last episode, you will know why we are here arriving in Auckland, New Zealand. Our mother just passed away and the funeral is happening very soon. We got some leave from Brentford to go and do this and we're actually taking an extended leave and having a good few months off just to recuperate after all of this happens and as you can see guys we're just hopping in the taxi now that's going to take us from the airport uh, all the way to where my dad now lives with um, my sister who's there and if you haven't seen the Godric Manston My Player you won't know who they are but my dad and my sister are here and my mum as you know has just passed away so we've got her funeral coming up in the next week or so and we're also just going to go to our dad's house and see him for the first time and I think I don't know how many years since before we were in prison since before our manager days we had one time where we met up with them or before before we left New Zealand in the first place guys so it's been a very very long time and we're just here arriving at his house now and guys here is my dad that's right we'll have a quick chat with him now just to have a little bit of a catch up um hey dad Godric it's been too long I know I'm sorry I haven't been around much your mother missed you. May she rest in peace. I just can't believe she's gone. Come, let's have a good old catch up, shall we? Alright guys, here we are. Here's our sister as well. We're just having a catch up with dad. Her arranging some funeral plans, doing some things. A very, very sad way to start this episode off here in Auckland. New Zealand, just getting a few things sorted out, having a catch up and just taking it slow over the next week or so while we're here just to kind of get things sorted out, just to get things cleared up and kind of pack all her stuff away and keep what we needed to keep because I haven't been here in so long and to me this is all weird, this is all strange. I don't, I like, I, I get along with my family but I haven't seen them in so long. We played for Chelsea and I think we saw them at one point then. And that was it in the My Player career, guys. We never really spoke to or saw a family because they lived in Auckland, New Zealand, like so far away. But guys, we're about to head to the funeral a couple of days later, which has just been arranged. And uh, as you can see here, guys, it is a very somber day. It's a very, it's a very sad one. It's a quiet day and no one's really talking in the car. It's just one of those things, it's just happened and we just have to learn to deal with it somehow. And we're just arriving here at the cemetery just before the um, ceremony is about to get started. We just got a thing at the open um, casket outside. So we're just gonna go and see, we're pretty much gonna go see mum off and just say goodbye for the last time. And then just spend the next month or so together as a family, just sorting things out. And as you can see here, a couple of people turned up and it's quite a nice little Quite a nice little gathering, quite a nice little send off for her. It was really nice to be here. I'm so glad that we decided to leave Brentford for a while, just take some time off and be here for our family and spend some time saying goodbye to our mother who has now passed away. She had a heart attack, guys, if I didn't tell you before. She had a heart attack, guys. And it was just tragic. It's one of those things no one sees coming and it just happened just like that. And yeah, here she is, here we are. And guys, that's it. We're gonna be trying trying to move on over the next month or so and just trying to get into some kind of new mindset about how we're going to get through we're actually here about a month later or two where we're actually saying goodbye to dad and my sister after staying with them for quite a while and we're actually going to be heading off to spain now guys like we said before we're actually we before we head back to the club we got to do some club duties and do some scouting in person on a certain specific player in spain who i know you guys want to see and me trying to sign so if we can sign this player come january or even the end of the season how amazing would that be but leaving auckland new zealand here after a very very sad few months just trying to move on trying to forgive and forget everything that's happened taxi driver just pulling up to the airport here in auckland we're going to buy our ticket to spain uh well we're going to be meeting up with taylor roberts remember our scout who we have who is currently scouting spain where you guys decided to send him off to he is going to be there waiting for us we're going to get a hotel room for a couple of weeks and it's just coming into january we've just had christmas here with our family so we're just heading into january and it's a nice sunny hot Christmas in New Zealand as it always is. We're hopping on the plane guys, heading back to Spain, or back to Spain, going to Spain. And we just looked at the news guys, 
And the player we're looking to sign, you all know who he is, obviously. Jesus Garcia hands in a transfer request. Remember, this is in January still. And uh, he says he's better than the club. He says he wants to move. And he's worth about 12 million. Now, we don't have that much money anywhere near it. If you guys saw from the start of this Brentford season, we've got about 5 million to spend. So we can't actually afford him, depending on what he wants to do, whether he wants to leave and is willing to take less money. The club are still going to want a hefty fee for him. So we'll have to sort this out when we land and see how we go. But guys, we need to get our mindset straight. We're coming back into the footballing world. And here we come, landing down in Spain today in Madrid, where we're going to be holding off to the next game that Real Vallecano will be playing at home here at the start of January. And it's going to be an interesting one to see. We're going to sit down and we're going to watch all the game. We're going to sit in the stands and just see how Jesus Garcia plays, whether he might be a worthwhile signing for the club and how he how he plays and how he might adapt to the Brentford side that we have. Remember, we've got Lasse Vibe or Vibe who starts up front and then Jesus Garcia is also a striker. So if we do manage to get him in, he might have to replace Lasse Vibe. But we'll have to wait and see. I mean, because... At the moment, nothing set in stone. He has got a very hefty price tag on him, but it will depend on how if he wants to sell or not. As you can see here, guys, taking a sleep. We just arrived in uh, Madrid in our hotel room, and we're going to be taking a sleep. Waking up the next day, nice, fresh, prepared, ready to go. Mindset is straight on focusing on what we are going to be achieving here today. We're going to be watching a game. We're going to be meeting up with Taylor Roberts, watching a game of Real Vallecano, playing at home. And watching the man Jesus Garcia himself perform, if he can do well, we'll have to wait and see. And if we are going to sign him or even attempt to sign him, it'll be another story because of the financial difficulties we might have in coming into this transfer. Maybe next year when we're in the Prem, we can sign someone of his caliber. But we'll have to wait and see how he goes. He may not be the right fit for the team. That's the, one of the main reasons why we've come here to scout him. Taylor Roberts here just waited to pick us up in the car, which is great. He's got a hire car out for Spain for the next six months, which we got him for the club so he is on official club duty he's going to be taking me here as a personal driver himself to the game as you can see we're just having a quick chat in the car and he was just telling me about a few things pretty much saying he's been scouting this player for a while and that he's he's got a few ideas of what how he could fit he also has some negatives like we've said already he's thinking maybe He's too expensive for us right now. Maybe the end of season is a good time to approach if and when we do well in the league. Or do we just leave him all together and go look for somebody else, guys? This is going to be your poll for today. After we've watched this game, have a think. Have a hit on the poll. And let me know, do you want to see us trying to sign, um, trying to sign him? Trying to sign Jesus? Do you want to see us leaving him? Forever, do you want to see us leaving him till the end of the current season, depending on if we get promoted or not? Or do you want us to... Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, see what the see what the poll says, and uh, we'll see how we go with that, guys. Otherwise, we're going to be getting into this game very soon. Just arriving here at the Rio Vallecano Stadium and looking to get some good eyes on this player and many maybe other players that are playing in this game as well. We'll have to see how we go because there are some very talented players. I like some of this. I heard of this guy. Apparently, plays for Rio Vallecano called Tidro. Apparently, he's doing really well this season. So maybe even we could look into signing someone like him after seeing him do so well it could be interesting to see who we could possibly have and who might play well and fit into our Brentford side that is the main thing is fitting in with the chemistry players that we've got going on but guys as you can see here this evening's match the sun is setting Real Vallecano against Alba City in this Godric Manston my manager career here watching the game from the sidelines from the stands and we we're looking at the table and they're currently sat in second place with 40 points which is very interesting to see they're doing well and I'm pretty sure that um, Jesus Garcia he is top goal scorer at the moment in the league and as you can see here he's also proving why because he's scoring most of the goals of Ford Air Vallecano and helping the team get lots of goals and it's going to be an interesting one like um, Jesus starting their lineup today they play they play a slightly different formation from what we play at Brentford they play a 4-5-1 formation we play a 4-3-3 so it's kind of the same the wingers are just pulled back slightly and that could make a big difference for a player like Jesus coming into a Brentford side with overlapping wingers doing more of the work than the striker himself. Because at the moment it looks like at this club, they are a club that get it, the ball to the striker 
and they go and try and get him the goals and that's proving well for them this season in the league as he is the top goal scorer in the league one of the main reasons we are scouting him here today is because of his goal scoring ability his potential as a future world class player could be very high guys he's already worth a lot more than we probably have but it's good to actually watch him play and we're just watching him get started here and the opposition team currently have the ball, but they come forward now. Rio Vallecano with a chance, and Jesus gets his first touches of the game, lays it there nicely to Lopez, gets a couple of nice little passes in from Rio. They hit the post there, and nothing comes off their first chance. Manager Manson just kind of watching from the sidelines with curiosity at some of these other players as well. This is another guy to look at here, Tidro. I'm um, just seeing how he plays, and it's a great touch there from Jesus, who goes and scores an absolutely fantastic goal. And I have to say, I gave a little clap when that went in. I was very impressed with with that goal and I was very interested to see that uh, he scored such a nice goal from such a distance with such ease as well the fact that he scored it so easily one touch around his man and he taken the shot away it gave me the impression that he, he he's he's walking all over this league at the moment which is which is interesting to see because um, it might lead to it might lead to good things when he comes into a championship team but then if he comes into our team when and if we get promoted to the Premier League he'll be coming into a Premier League side which might be more of a challenge for him which could be good but it could be bad he could be a serious a Spanish flop and we just don't know what to expect and we're just trying to figure out in our heads do we spend this amount of money on one player or do we do we head back and and sign a couple other players guys you need to let me know this is what the polls all about you guys getting your input in whether we should do it or not and guys as you can see here um the other team kind of dominating the rest of this first half at the moment they're getting a good few shots away but a good save from alberto keeps that one out nicely who's going to get this one clear and it looks like they're going to be heading into half time in this game one nil thanks to jesus is very nice goal and i'm very impressed with him so far he, he's only had one shot but it has been a very good one and he got and put his team at one nil up and he's really saving the day at the moment after being dominated for the rest of it by the opposition team so um we're sat here still watching and just trying to figure out will he fit guys will he fit into our lineup looking at him as a player he's playing really well gets a shot away there he's got great feet he's got great skill you can see his skills progressing his skills and his movement on the ball really um, really kind of going for it he's actually quite a tall player looking at him and because uh, I've only ever seen reports a nice goal there from Lopez as well guys as you saw uh, Jesus Garcia gets an assist for himself so that's an assist and a goal in this game he's really playing well and it's nice to see him link Linking up teammates, not just scoring goals, which is another thing I've been looking for, is my is teamwork within a player. So if he can lay off great passes like that for a player to go on and score, then he's going to be a great asset for the team from the striking position. And uh, Lopez with a great goal there just to put them 2-0 up. But guys, it's just such a hard decision. I'm here watching and watching quite a way into the second half of this game now. I just, I just can't decide if it's going to be worth Getting a player like him, he has got great potential, but we just don't have the club or the finances to really sign him right now. And I just can't decide whether we should we should keep him shortlisted and maybe what look for him next season when the Premier League comes about. If we if we go up, and I keep saying we're going to the Premier League, but if we go up and get into the Premier League, we should get a nice injection of money to the club that we could use. And another chance here in the last minute for Jesus Garcia. And he goes and tucks it away, guys. It's 3-0 in this game. 90 minutes played. He's gone and backed himself two goals. We've been here one game all season and you can see why he is proving to be one of the best players in the league he's just gone and scored his second goal in this game he's already got an assist the Rayo fans absolutely love him here he is proving to be one of the best young talents I have seen in a long time the likes of him and some other uh, players who we have been scouting here in Spain are looking very promising indeed we'll have to see who those other players are in the future episodes guys but at the moment we're only going to focus on Jesus Garcia and then we're going to be heading back to England to get back into the Brentford career as we go uh, as you know guys we've taken some time off we're currently sitting at um, January and um, the game's finally finished and it was a very good one to watch I applaud from the crowd and um, I'm just going to go wait after this game uh, in the stadium out just inside waiting for the manager to come out so we can have a quick chat with him and just discuss uh, the player Jesus Garcia and see what they can offer if they're willing to accept an offer in the first place seeing as he did hand in a transfer request supposedly and it'll be nice to see if we can get any kind of discount on that because we are sure willing to pay at least say 8 million for him but here we are with a quick chat 
Hi, my name is Godric Manson and I'm the manager of English Championship Team Brentford. Ah, Mr. Manson, I remember you from your playing days at Real Madrid. How can I help? We were actually interested in signing your youngster, Jesus Garcia. He is not for sale. Unless you can offer above 20 million, I might reconsider. But we don't have that kind of money. Then I would advise you to look elsewhere. Good day, Mr. Manston. Guys, they set such a high price tag on him and I just couldn't bring myself to even say we could try and afford him when we clearly can't do it. So guys, our time here in Spain for now has come to an end. We're gonna be heading back to England. It is now early January. I think we're about a week or two into January and we're gonna be getting this uh, next episode underway very soon where we're gonna be catching up to the Jesus Garcia, my player career. So we're on the same level storyline. And at the moment, we're just heading back to the airport. Quite disappointed really. They said no less than 20 million and 20 million is above and beyond what I'm able to pay at the moment as a manager of a championship club who are kind of mid table so hopefully we can push on and get at least promotion next season either automatic or playoffs will be pretty cool and maybe just get enough cash injection to buy Jesus Garcia guys let me know in the comments again buy are we going to wait till the end of the season to buy him do we not bother at all do we scout him for a couple of seasons and maybe wait until we're a big enough club to sign him or maybe we wait until we get to a new club managing a bigger club and then sign him there Guys, it's gonna be up to you what you see in the comments. It won't be a guarantee. This will be a potential future plan um, poll as well. So nothing will be guaranteed. It will just be your opinions. But guys, that is it for this episode. I know it's been a bit different and I apologize if you didn't like it, but it's been an interesting one to kind of get a few things sorted, skip a bit of time through to January so we can catch up to the my player and also go to a funeral and scout um, Jesus Garcia. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Please hit that like hit share hit subscribe if you haven't already and this channel is going so well i love you guys i love your support i'm loving your comments i will be getting some of you guys in soon for um voiceovers and some awesome stuff like that when i get some time it's been real busy lately as you notice but guys please like share subscribe and i will see you all in the next one peace out